Morning! Busy one today. We've got um, trading standards coming out to do a broad um, inspection of the farm. That should be fun, but to be honest, we have that many inspections from our different suppliers and stuff. Shouldn't be anything out of the uh, ordinary what they'll be asking uh, to see and the records that we keep, so it should be all right. Surprise, 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 my dad's not going to be here because Somebody was going to be taking the cattle in for us today, but their lorries broke down and uh, I could go and take them and he could do the inspection. But for some reason he wants to, to take them. How interesting. He still wants me to fill it up with diesel because he likes me filling it up with diesel. <laughs> so I'm back in the yard. My dad's feeding with the TM. No Emily today, so I'm the person on the gates. I'm just going to walk up here and I better let Andy out of this pen. Back and forth. He's just been strawing up the big shed. Getting them all sorted. We're adding to feed these guys now. Jobs are good, eh? Andy's cracking on getting them bales. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, he's missed one. Second attempt. A bit tight, though, to be honest. It's against the, uh, it's against the trailer. I'm just giving him some finger doubt. I'm backseat, I'm backseat driving for him. <laughs> it's a bit tight, isn't it, Andy? Towards the trailer a bit. You've got it. Top job, Andy. Hello, Mr. White Boy. Hello. Pretty, aren't you? That's a cemental with the horns. Well, I'd get back. A bit different for me today. Opening and shutting gates. Getting the job done though. If you've not seen the video from yesterday, head over there after this one. Uh, really good, full of machines, machinery, a bit of banter between us lot. Had a good laugh. Uh, sometimes at mixed expense, sometimes at M, sometimes at mine. Um, yeah. Remember, hit the subscribe button if you like these videos. Uh, it really helps small channels like ours to go out. We've got on the nine meter now. So we're going to put this banger back out for the day in its steel cage. Hopefully nobody can get in it with a padlock on. So yeah, I'll just get down the field and set this going. Get the bangs popping. Right, so I don't know if you'll appreciate how loud this is. It's on random. We'll see what's it's like. Oh, it's gonna bang. Yeah, it's loud. Very loud. So we have to leave it in that locked box because hopefully it's too much of a job for somebody to try and carry that out of here. Uh, good luck to them if they want to do that. <laughs> So it's a long way to the road from the house. I can get down here quicker than they can run. <laughs> we have to think of these things. Me doing it this way is also very costly. So I've got to run out in the JCB every time, take it out, run back, pick it back up. Um, so yeah, I think Mick and Ash on weekend will be down here shooting. Because um, they'll love it. And he'll sort the job out a bit better. Because it's looking a bit knackered this way. Not happy with it one bit. If anyone thought I'd got better, I haven't. <laughs> actually got away with uh, doing this inspection because my dad says that I can take the cattle, which is brilliant. But I've got to get all the computer reports, that's what I'm just doing now, um, up for him so that he can navigate through them and um, and show any, any reports that we'd need for the inspection. Because he can navigate through a computer, but actually generating reports and stuff it's normally my job <laughs> out of doing the uh, inspection but my dad said it was very thorough um but they've not come up with anything that uh, was an issue which we knew would be the case anyway but it's always nice to know isn't it after so there is always that oh i wonder if uh, i wonder if they're gonna pull me up on a little technicality but no no everything was great and above board 
So I am on to York Market now, see if we can see any of those um, machines that are left from yams. Thrown back on the lorry by the looks of it. It's filled with JCBs on. Yeah, it's back to uh, market day here at York Auction Market. Um, like I said, I've seen most of the machines have gone now. There's odd few, one or two, that big chrome were there. But I'll uh, have a go inside. Okay, so that were quick. They'd already sold them because we're that late. And uh, his man's not got us none. So, back in the scan here. We'll have to head back home. See what the guys are up to. So, I find myself back in the yard. Not had any lunch yet. But we've got another load of cattle to go. And I'm guessing my dad and Andy, who are stood down there, will want me to help them load them up. So, I'll run on some fumes to do it. Andy's been putting the bales out. We found some owl pellets it's quite interesting finding them owl pellet pellets no we know we've had owls for a bit we've actually got in two of the sheds we've got two owl boxes which i'll i'll show you one day um but at the minute i've just finished my dinner god i needed that because we we're late dinner today two o'clock i've had it at um andy's just started taking the coolant tank off for me so we'll see how he's getting on is it all off andy uh, Result into just hidden Google, under there. But yeah. <laughs> this header tank. Uh, we've got the bolts from that we can get from the top, but it looks like there's two real tricky ones that we need to go. If anybody can see what I'm on about here, we need to go behind it. This bit here, this plastic, to get to. Or as far as we can work out, that's what we need to do. So we're undoing this plastic housing to take it back see if we can do that trying to work it out as we go along somebody will probably come on in the comments and say well you could have just done this well we didn't know <laughs> speak up now <laughs> this will just come away a little bit which it has done a little bit doesn't look like there's any other bits does it and uh, we haven't got that much room though because of the fan Oh, interesting. So we've got this plastic bit off here now to try and give us a bit more room to get to two little bolts at the top. Um, yeah, there ain't much room. And Andy's got to go and get his sick rims for his car. Can't wait to see that. You better take some before and after shots for us, Andy. I'm just going to soldier away here and see what I can do. Andy will have to clean up the mess tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> back. Andy's just said M's back, so M can sort it out. She's a mechanic's daughter, so she'll should get this sorted easy peasy. Right. So I'm getting a bit defeated with this, or feeling a bit deflated. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the shed up, get back on my TM, because that'll be something nice to do. Go and feed some cattle, and then come back to the mess that is the 7530, and it's cool. Yeah, time to do what I'm good at feeding cows feel a bit uh, like I'm not a mechanic today. I could get them things out, but I'm missing something. Feel jobs like that, if you get a bit deflated, just do something else for a minute. And then when you come back, you've got fresh eyes on it. Uh, maybe a different way of thinking. And a uh, positive way of thinking. We might get it done. They're all busy eating. Look at my dirty windows. <laughs> yeah, I try and show you the owl boxes that we've got. There's one up there that by the looks of it we've got a pigeon in. <laughs> Hello fellas. Enjoying your dinner? Hey you up mate. You alright? No, I don't want your nose. I'm trying to show them the owl box. Pretty. So yeah, we've got another one there look. Which Oh, I'm not even joking, there's actually a pigeon in it. <laughs> okay, so as owl boxes obviously don't work, but the pigeons like them. And these fellas look pretty happy. Hello. Not quite as friendly as I expected you to be then. You gonna be friendly? Oh yeah. Nice Aberdeen Angus. Look at that. Lovely boy, lovely boy. 
think the um, owls must prefer to live in the straw. Um, if we knew that an owl was in the bale somewhere. We've got another pigeon up there, look, somewhere. Uh, there. Got, not got this pointing thing uh, locked down yet. But um, yeah, if we knew the, where the owls were, we wouldn't take the straw bales down. Um, cause it's nice to see them, isn't it? Nice to hear them as well. Uh, nice little things. Now, I'm basically just waiting for my dad because I've got a few pens to do where the gates need opening. Um, and he's bringing the header tank back. Uh, so I can have a look at that and maybe work something out and make something just pop in my mind and be like, oh yeah, do it this way. <laughs> Oh, it's always something happening. Always something. There's the owl pellets. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. I don't know if they'll be from one owl or more. Maybe somebody will let us know in the comments. Maybe some owl expert can say that is a uh, this type of owl. They will, but <laughs> you, you never know. You never big know. lads in here. The little girl. Nice, well finished cattle. Make sure I check them all round before, um, I mean, before, after we've giving them something to eat, just to make sure everything has had something. Make sure there's nothing laid down in the back. Oh, there is one laid down in the back. Let's go and have a look. Hello, mister. How are we doing? So when this one is laid down, I just want to see that when it gets up, oh, it has got up, so you see it stretches. Yeah, he's looking at me all right. seems lively its ears are up it's not looking sorry for itself hiya mate hey <laughs> this one's trying to suss me out a little bit isn't it come on then no not bothered so yeah these are fairly new in cattle these new to us Oh, looking well. Let's use my 6.9 on the uh, straw blower at the minute. Not happy about that. That's my tractor. My little beast. Shouldn't be getting mucky doing that. And we've got the TM and the 7.530. So it's dropping a bit dark now, but uh, we get these guys fed some fodder meat. And then I've got my bird banger to go and collect from the field. So I'll get a little shot of that, I think. Then we'll be about to go. Over here, though, so I think I've left the blooming keys in this one. Oh well. So I got it picked up. I'll take it back home now. It's just nice and safe all the night. Probably fetch it back out tomorrow. Flags are all still here, though, in the darkness. If you love our videos now and you like what you see, Remember to hit that subscribe button so you get updated on everything that we're putting out and then you won't miss M coming back tomorrow, uh, Andy's here, my dad, I'm not sure about Mick and Ash, they might be here on the weekend, but you'll keep up to date with them. Remember, if you want to see loads of machinery, check out my video from Yams and see you all tomorrow. Thanks a lot.